All right, parents. So I know some of you are still struggling with being able to get to be able to write on documents on a desktop or a laptop. So I'm just going to show you quick what you can do. I logged in as one of the kids in our classroom right now. You can Google Cami for Google Classroom. You go down and you click on the Cami, K-A-M-I app. And then you're going to click on create an account. And I'm going to log out of this so you can see what it actually looks like. Um, and then you're going to log in or sign up and you're going to click with Google. I have a bunch of different ones, but you can click on your Google Classroom one. And then you're going to click on Open from Google Drive. Click Classroom, K001. And now here's all of the work that has been posted into the classroom. It goes all the way back to the first day. So you can click on whatever it is that you're looking for. I'm going to do the sight word one. I was playing around with it earlier, so everything's already done. But on here, there's an eraser tool, so you can erase anything you wanted to. There's a drawing tool, so this, you could pick out the thickness depending on what you're drawing. They can use this to draw. It's a little bit harder to write with it and color with it, but they can do the best they can. That's fine. There's this markup tool where you click on box highlighter. You could pick a color and say we're looking for all of the word A's. Why is this not working? And you could just create a box around the word A and it highlights it automatically for you. Then they can change the color if they wanted to pick another one. This is the word and. Then they can go and they can highlight the word and in all of them. So this makes it more user friendly, hopefully. And then there you can even put in a text box if you want. Over here I put in the text box and I typed in it is funny. They can use this for writing as well. You would use maybe the one. I like and they're just using the mouse pad to play and it will be a little bit difficult for them to but they can do the best they can you can go right on it and color things in if you make it bigger you can color in the happy faces how many times you read it and then you click this button up here save and you're going to download it. And then it downloads onto your computer or you can download right into your Google Drive. And click export. And it's just saving it into your Google Drive. And then you can X out of that and you can go to the classroom. So now I go to classwork. I go down to the assignment that I was doing. So I was doing sight words for Tuesday. I click view assignment. And I already, now I'm going to click add or create. And you're going back to your Google Drive. And now you're going to click on the Kami export. The one right here, the PDF. And you're going to click add. Now when you click on that one, it shows everything I wrote and drew on the page. And then you turn it in from there. And then when you turn it in, I see both of these pages. I see the one that was blank that I gave you. And then I see the Kami export one where you highlighted the words and you wrote on it. So hopefully that's helpful to some of you. If you have any questions, I can try and help you the best I can. I'm not an expert at any of this, and I know it's very difficult because they don't know how to type, but you're all doing a great job, and we're so, so thankful for it.